Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Southern Knights. Back again with another video. Before you watch this one all the way through, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Links in the description box. And I want to bring y'all some breaking news. This just broke not so long ago, but the rapper Coolio has passed away at the age of 59 at a friend's house. That's being reported right now. Say he went into the bathroom, didn't come out, friend calling for him. And when the friend finally came in there, he was unresponsive. And I guess he called the um the met the paramedics after that and they found him on the floor. <clears throat> so they don't know the cause, the actual cause of death. They just say he went into cardiac arrest. So all of this just broke. One of my favorite rappers in the 80s, 90s scene, Mr. Gangster Paradise. More power to you. Rest in power, rest in paradise. Enjoy the higher dimensions. But uh, yeah. I mean, it's a, uh, <clears throat> it's been some sad times in entertainment because you see a lot of these deaths coming back to back in the entertainment world, and so much where people are calling a conspiracy now, <laughs> and not to spray too much off of the subject of Coolio, but um, it's been some reports that. Um, it's a distribution company that's doing insurance claims or whatnot. And this is just, um, allegedly, um, I ain't going to really say the name here because I don't like putting out information that people put out that's in the line of conspiracy, unless, unless it's actual, actual fact. <clears throat> so but they say that they will put insurance claims out on rappers and next thing you know they you know they died the next day following a week and they got these all these rappers with their names up there that have a star you know like as a ring you see what i'm saying so i ain't gonna speak too much about that because like i said i don't want to put nobody business out like that it, it, especially if it's not true, but you know how folks on the internet is. But back to Coolio, um, it's been a sad day in entertainment. Definitely this one because he's back when, um, I ain't going to say when rap was genuine, but, you know, he was one of the ones that some of his rap was pretty clean. He identified with every nationality. He was always in on talk shows. He was he always showed his face and he was like a household name. He kind of remind me of how Snoop is right now. You know how Snoop got the Martha Stewart shows and all of that. And that's how Coolio was. And he still was doing it. Fundraisers. It's like you always see him doing something, no no matter what it was. And he was just one of those rappers. Even if he didn't do music, he kept himself relevant by putting himself out there and doing different stuff, talk shows, TV shows, um, movies, whatever the case may be. And, hey, you got to love him for that because, you know, he was one of my favorites back in the days especially the song um the song that really touched me and i played that song over and over when i was in my teens is see when i get there that was like one of my favorite songs ever besides gangsta paradise matter of fact i like to give people flowers before they can smell them you know what i mean but at the same time I think I'm going to download them two songs right there. You know what I mean? But I, I always gave him his flowers. So 
this ain't really after he passed. I'm going to do like the whole entertainment thing. You know how a rapper pass or entertainer. Now they want to get all his CDs and all of this stuff. And I'm pretty sure stock's going to go up after this. But me doing this is just out of my respect of listening to him at, back in the days. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But sad loss. Like I said, rest in peace. Definitely, you know, resting in the gangster paradise. A beautiful one as that. And that's it. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Because I'm basically around here getting ready for the storms and stuff. So I'm kind of uh, moving everything around, tying everything down. Because, you know, hurricane hit Florida and it's coming through here now. So get it prepared for that. But other than that, I'll catch y'all on the next one. All right, y'all. Peace.